Wait, did you know that this could happen? Was this another risk you were hiding from me? The only way degradation would be this severe is if the frequency treatment no. became irregular, I, but we made I sure that didn't happen. I believe you. You knew that he could lose everything and now he has. Mabel, please, I, 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 I still can, I, I can no. try to. Adam, go home. I don't ever want to see you again. Adam, get out. How do you know it'll work? I don't, really. But everything's always been a chance. And I can't sit back knowing I didn't try everything to bring Fane back. And his daughter? Mabel. I can't stop thinking about our time together. <laughs> you two had feelings. We had something really good. So good, I'll, I'll always wonder what we could have been. But that doesn't matter because I, I, I definitely never deserved her friendship and I, I don't deserve her forgiveness. No. That's where you come in. After we do all this, You'll have no recollection of her, her father, or anything you experienced together. Like they never existed to me. It's not easy to let go, Adam. Yeah, but it'll, it'll be easier with this. Can't miss what I never had. Why can't you just give him a shell? A shell won't reach deep enough. Somehow, Fang lost all his prime anchor memories. And without them, it's like he's lost at sea, without any buoys or markers to guide him back home. So you're giving him yours? Yeah. My memory of every experience and emotion associated with them. Strong emotional anchors. They don't sync up exactly, but they can still act as catalysts for Fang's own memories. And with them, he'll have a better chance of finding his way back. Adam, sometimes you're too smart for your own good. Or too stupid to know when to quit. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, um... I've already set the barrier depth and uh, 
automated the extraction process, so it'll be, it's pretty straightforward. Um, once it's done, just take everything to the address I gave you. Do you have any questions? Just one. Are you sure you want to do this? It's the only thing I'm sure of. Bye, Priya. Thank you. Hi, Mabel. If you're reading this, I hope it means there's a part of you that's still open to me. It may seem like your dad's gone, but it's possible he's just very lost. The reason he can't find his way back is because there's nothing to remember. That's what I've been working on. What you've both given me in our time together is more than I've ever had to hold on to. I realized it's the closest I've ever felt to things like family and love. And that's exactly what your dad needs now. Everything you need to know is here, if you want to move forward. Mabel, you have every reason to doubt me. I'm sorry for not being upfront with you. I'm sorry for endangering your dad. And I'm sorry the last time I saw you was the last time I'll see you.
May. For you. Thanks, Pa. Mm-hmm. Are you going to tell me how it ends? Or do I have to wait until it gets published? If it gets published, only the top three submissions get considered for print, Pa. Your story, then second, and third place. I know. <laughs> how do we know when something really ends, though? The story doesn't stop just because the words do. That's why I know you're going to win. You should take a break, though. Too much screen. Bad for your eyes. A view of the courtyard. Fiction or reality? Huh? Would you choose to remember something that never happened? Fiction? Or forget something that did? Reality? Is the end goal to be happier? Just for me? Just you. Have you ever woken up from a nightmare? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Adam, just answer the question. What? No, no. It's, um, I'm going somewhere with this. Trust me. Okay. I'll play. I think nightmares are the sweetest dreams. Why? <laughs> because, um, you wake up grateful that it was just a dream. Thankful that Things are the way they are. Whatever was so terrifying didn't actually happen. But in a sweet dream, you wake up feeling like uh, something's missing. Out of reach. Because it didn't actually happen. So you choose reality. I guess so. Um, but not one I'd want to forget. Me too. I don't want to wake up and know this never happened. What if you didn't know it didn't happen? I don't want to think about that. Then let's not wake up. Okay. There you have it. Shell the series. Even though that was the last episode, I don't really want to call it the end because, well, the story doesn't stop just because the words do. Shell has always been special to me, and I hope this series resonates with you just like the original did 10 years ago. I hope it makes you wonder, question, appreciate, and reflect on your own memories, good or bad, real or artificial. 
If you're interested in the creative process of how we made Shell, be sure to check out the behind the scenes featurette links below. Again, thank you so much to everyone that purchased the series or watched on Patreon. It's because of you that Wang Fu can continue creating and sharing stories even after almost two decades. We love doing it and we couldn't be more grateful to have your support. Until the next one, cheers.